Hi guys! This week our big idea is all about mothers and we're going to spend this week thinking about how much we love our mommies. Um, especially being thankful for everything that they've done for us. Um, especially these last couple months where we've been home and mommies have really kind of taken on all sorts of jobs that they didn't have before. So we really want to be thankful for them. Um, the book that we're reading today, I think, is so rich in language and um, just vivid colors. And it actually won a Caldecott Award for illustrations as well. So we know that means it's going to have beautiful artwork. The title of the book is Mr. Rabbit and the Lovely Present by Maurice Sendak. Oh, pictures by Maurice Sendak. The author is Charlotte Zolto. Mr. Rabbit, said the little girl, I want help. Help, little girl. I'll give you help if I can, said Mr. Rabbit. Mr. Rabbit, said the little girl, it's about my mother. Your mother, said Mr. Rabbit. It's Mother's Day, said the little girl. Well, happy Mother's Day to her then said Mr. Rabbit. What are you giving her? That's just it, said the little girl. That's why I want help. I have nothing to give her. Nothing to give your mother on Mother's Day, said Mr. Rabbit. Little girl, you really do want help. I would like to give her something that she likes, said the little girl. Something that she likes is a good present, said Mr. Rabbit. I love the illustrations in this book. But what, said the little girl. Yes, what, said the, the rabbit. She likes red, said the little girl. Red, said Mr. Rabbit. You can give her red. Something red, maybe, said the little girl. Oh, something red, said Mr. Rabbit. What is red, said the little girl. Well, said Mr. Rabbit, there's red underwear. No, said the little girl, I can't give her that. There's red roofs, said Mr. Rabbit. No, we have a roof, said the little girl. I don't want to give her that. There are red birds, said Mr. Rabbit. Red cardinals. No, said the little girl. She likes birds in trees. There are red fire engines, said Mr. Rabbit. No, said the little girl. She doesn't like fire engines. Well, said Mr. Rabbit, there are apples. Good, said the little girl, that's good. She likes apples, but I need something else. What else does she like, said Mr. Rabbit. Well, she likes yellow, said the little girl. Yellow, said Mr. Rabbit, you can't give her yellow. Something yellow, maybe, said the little girl. Oh, something yellow, said Mr. Rabbit. What is yellow, said the little girl. Well, said Mr. Rabbit, there are yellow taxi cabs. I'm sure she doesn't want a taxi cab, said the little girl. The sun is yellow, said Mr. Rabbit. But I can't give her the sun, said the little girl. Though I would if I could. A canary bird is yellow, said Mr. Rabbit. She likes birds in trees, the little girl said. That's right, you told me, said Mr. Rabbit. Well, butter is yellow. Does she like butter? We have butter, said the little girl. Bananas are yellow, said Mr. Rabbit. Oh, good, that's good, said the little girl. She likes bananas. I need something else, though. 
What else does she like, said Mr. Rabbit. She likes green, said the little girl. Green, said Mr. Rabbit, you can't give her green. Something green, maybe, said the little girl. Emerald, said the rabbit, emeralds are a lovely gift. I can't afford emeralds, said the little girl. Parrots are green, said Mr. Rabbit, but she likes birds and trees. No, said the little girl, parrots won't do. Peas and spinach, said Mr. Rabbit. Peas are green, spinach is green. No, said the little girl, we have those for dinner all the time. Caterpillars, said Mr. Rabbit. Some of them are very green. She doesn't care for caterpillars, the little girl said. What about pears, said Mr. Rabbit. Bartlett pears. The very thing, said the little girl. That's the very thing. Now I have apples and bananas and pears, but I need something else. What else does she like, said Mr. Rabbit. She likes blue, said the little girl. Blue, you can't give her blue, said Mr. Rabbit. Something blue, maybe, said the little girl. Lakes are blue, said the rabbit. But I can't give her a lake, you know, said the little girl. Stars are blue. I can't give her stars, the little girl said, but I would if I could. Sapphires make a lovely gift, said Mr. Rabbit, but I can't afford sapphires either, said the little girl. Bluebirds are blue, but she likes birds and trees, said Mr. Rabbit. Right, said the little girl. How about blue grapes, said Mr. Rabbit. Yes, said the little girl, that is good, very good. She likes grapes. Now I have apples and pears and bananas and grapes. That makes a good gift, said Mr. Rabbit. All you need now is a basket. I have a basket, said the little girl. So she took her basket and she filled it with the green pears and yellow bananas and red apples and blue grapes. It made a lovely present. Thank you for your help, Mr. Rabbit, said the little girl. Not at all, said Mr. Rabbit. Very glad to help. Goodbye now, said the little girl. Goodbye, said Mr. Rabbit, and happy Mother's Day, and a happy basket of fruit to your mother. The end. As scholars, I'd love for you to spend this week thinking about things that your mother might like. Remember the little girl in this book, she didn't go and buy anything for her mother. She gave her mother a gift that she knew she would love best, something from her heart. Um, I hope you all have a great week and I will see you guys soon. Bye, love you.